We were able to recover most of the logs. There were no bodies on the perihelion. However, some of them could have been blown out into space. We're reconstructing the logs now. There's no sign of battle damage on the perihelion. Whatever happened came from the inside. While I was in my quarters just a few minutes ago, I think I must have been hallucinating. People started reporting hallucinations and strange voices ever since we got here. Clearly something's not right. We've got the logs. I think it's time we made our exit. Transporter records show that at least some of the perihelion crew transferred over to the alien ship four days ago. People started reporting hallucinations well before the away team returned. Certainly, it's not some kind of a disease. Agreed. How are those logs coming? The computer should be done compiling them now. Let's see them. Captain's log. We're investigating a derelict alien spacecraft in an impossibly close orbit of a black hole. At the behest of my science officer, we're moving in for a closer look. Captain's log. After sending an away team to the alien spacecraft, we are no closer to understanding its incredible power than we are before. Its propulsion systems are completely unknown to us. Some of the crew have begun experiencing hallucinations. My first officer thinks it's just due to the stress of such an unusually long mission. Captain's log. Some of our systems are beginning to fail. We've been unable to determine the cause, but we've decided to stay here and make repairs before attempting to break away from the black hole's gravity. Captain's log. The morale on my ship is deteriorating. We can't keep up with these systems failures. I'm convinced there's a connection between the alien ship, the black hole, and our predicament, but I have no clue what that might be. Captain's log. We lost two repair teams yesterday when someone blew out a docking port on deck five. The emergency force fields are not responding. I've ordered my first officer and the majority of the crew to transport to the alien ship while we still can. Until we can repair the ship or help arrives. Captain's log. We've sent a distress call. But I'm not even sure if the transmitters are still working. If help doesn't arrive soon, I don't know what we're going to do. Captain's log. We've lost contact with our crew on the alien ship. My first officer last reported a mutiny of the engineering staff. The replicators are down. We're running very low on rations. I think I'm going to have to kill my chief engineer. That's it. No more logs were made. I'm convinced that now is the time to get underway. If there's anyone left alive on the alien ship, we have to look for them. Our scans are inconclusive. If we start having systems failures, we could be trapped here too. I have to agree with the captain on this one. I'll volunteer for the away team, Captain. All right, you have 15 minutes. Then we're getting out of here. Number one, you have the away team. Aye, sir. Sensing anything, Counselor? Nothing. Empty silence. Ro, anything on the tricorder? Well, I'm picking up faint biomatter readings, but no life signs. They killed each other. Counselor? There was a study done recently on the effects of hallucinations on people in closed quarters. In almost all cases, they degraded to animalistic behavior, chaos, and collective homicide. Sounds like a good reason to get the hell out of here. Something's causing it, though. I have a feeling we can unravel the mystery of this ship. We can figure out what's going on with our crew. But well, we've only got 15 minutes. So what can we do? 
Let's start in the engine room. Status of the away team. They're down to seven minutes, sir. Captain, I'm reading a 7% drop in available thruster power. What's the cause? One of our impulse cells just stopped working. Send out the damage control team. Engineering, report. Witsack here. We had a temporary failure of main power. Part of the computer core has stopped functioning. Mr. Rollins, recall the away team. We're getting out of here now. Targeting scanners non-functional. Take a shuttle and get them back. The readings are off the scale in here. What is it? Looks like a quantum singularity drive. What's that? Well, no one's ever made one. It's just a theory. It uses the energy of a black hole to fold space. You mean the black hole out there is artificial? Maybe. Only something's not right. There's a combination of molecules thrown through this reactor. That's just not possible in the known universe. What are you saying, Ensign? The alien ship is not from our universe, or even our own dimension. It used a quantum singularity to get here. It came through the black hole? No, nothing can survive the tidal forces of the center of a black hole. What this ship did was even more ingenious. Once the ship reached the event horizon, it folded space using its own quantum singularity and reached the identical point in our universe. You're losing me. If you take a piece of paper and make a dot at the top and bottom, usually the shortest distance between those two points is a straight line. Unless you fold the pieces of paper so that both points are right on top of one another. It sounds like a great way to travel, but you said this ship was from another universe. Yes, sir. However, Whoever built the ship may not have realized that by tearing the fabric of space and time, they were also crossing the dimensional barrier. The problem is that each dimension in parallel universe has separate laws of physics. That's why our systems are failing and we are hallucinating. Our atomic structure is slightly out of phase with theirs and it's slowly deteriorating. But they're in our universe now. Their ship should be deteriorating, not ours. Their ships still exist partly in their universe, so it's not as badly affected as ours. So where did the crew of the alien ship go? My best guess is they realized how dangerous the technology was and they abandoned it here. Or they died trying. Then that settles it. Prepare to get us out of here while we're still in one piece. It's not that simple, Captain. The laws of their universe aren't compatible with ours. If we leave without sealing off both universes, both of them will become dangerously unstable, and the effect is expanding. We need to close the doorway, shut down the quantum singularity. How do you destroy a black hole that's capable of destroying anything and everything? It's an artificial black hole created by the aliens. If we destroy the alien ship, then the black hole should stop expanding into our universe. The singularities seem to feed off one another. If we detonate a large enough explosion on the other side of the rift at the same time, it might collapse in on itself. How do we do that? The perihelion. We can set our warp core to overload and send her over. Can we send a ship through to the other dimension? We should be able to. All the systems on the alien ship are still working. We'll just project the singularity onto the perihelion. Let's do it. You have half an hour. One more thing, Captain. We need to be within two million kilometers of the alien ship to remote detonate it. We'll need to hit warp speed the moment that it explodes. Or what? You don't want to know. <laughs>